Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just me, Cheryl. So I'm back with like week two of doing studio vlogs, if that's what you want to call it. I feel like I kind of call it a studio vlog because I don't actually have a studio. I have a bedroom, I have a shed and I have a dining room table, but we're going to call it studio vlogs. My elastic came today and it's the right stuff. I just need to do a stretch test and make sure it actually, you know, like is decent. New fabric came today. Oh my God, I'll have to insert a clip while I'm talking, but I've got a really, really nice leopard print fabric and a really, really nice zebra print fabric. So I really can't wait to get them sewn up and they feel absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I got a new chiffon fabric as well. It's meant to be turquoise, but it's more blue. But that's what happens when you order off the internet, isn't it? I got an order yesterday and I got an order last week, like I had mentioned in the last vlog. So the key ring is all finished. It's just having its final day of setting before I can send it out tomorrow in the post. Um, and then I'm just going to send the earrings that someone ordered yesterday. It's a banana, yes. I'll just get them sent off in the post tomorrow as well. I'm going to sew up all of my scrunchies today. I'll get them all threaded with elastic, sew them all up. Make their photos done tonight. I'm not sure. It just depends on how long it takes us. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to look after my kids at the same time. Because, you know, still off school, still shouting at mum. to video much um i seem to have issues where i don't like deleting stuff off my camera and my phone so my memory is very very low and it won't let us record half the stuff i finished as many scrunchies as i could i think i got about over 50 oh my god like the way that i do my measurements for my scrunchies i must just have it just on point and um, i only order half a meter of fabric at a time obviously because i'm such a small business and i'm still kind of finding what people like so i I don't order like a lot of fabric um, and the way that I must cut my fabric I always get left with like a chunk at the bottom and it's the perfect size to add to like another chunk left over to do those block scrunchies oh I've just made the most beautiful zebra print and leopard print oh my god it's amazing so yeah well happy about that um yeah, so now I've just taken loads and loads of photos. I'm going to now edit these photos and see if I can start putting them on Etsy. <sighs> I'm going to crack on and I'll be back soon.
hands not working but I got a parcel so I need to open it up because I just need to see what's inside. This is the Cernic, it's because I use Cernic Polymer Clay at the moment, so I've got the Cernic Glossy and the Matte Varnish. I thought I'd give them a shot. As you can see, I've got these little earrings here at the moment, and the paint that I use it's totally fine and um, it doesn't rub off and everything because it's like baked onto the earrings but i don't know i've just got myself a little bit paranoid that maybe over time that it may these were dead cheap it was only like three pound i tell you for a 30 ml bottle they were only three pound 60 each from a website called clear around i'll leave the link below to the website but i think that's pretty cheap and to be honest i don't think i'll be using that much of it so yeah but I haven't really been doing much polymer clay at the moment. I've kind of <laughs> been in the shed a little bit more this week and last week than what I normally would do in the resin stuff. And then I've been doing the scrunchies so the polymer clay has kind of been pushed to one side a little bit. And you know when you just can't think of anything to do for the clay? Like your brain's just not working very well. Um, so yeah. Right guys, so resin like pieces is really, really hard to get photos of in videos and I do use a lot of glitter so with it being like a really really sunny day I thought the best thing to do would be to do like a little setup in the back garden in the sunshine yeah it's like a little sneak peek into one of my stock boxes this is where I keep all of my resin key rings and my resin hair clips I want to try and capture the sparkle on the hair clips and the key rings and um, just to get that glitter you know to make my videos look proper lush like ooh. After having like a proper day in the sunshine, I would say that it's good for your videos, but it's not so good for taking photos of resin pieces with loads of glitter. It just doesn't work very well. And also, just to point out, those little holographic bags that you can see that I've got my key rings in, I bought them at the very beginning and I thought they were a great idea, but I don't actually think they're like biodegradable or anything like that, so they're not recyclable. I do want to change them to some little organza bags, but I think I will keep them for in my stock boxes because everything sits so nicely and they just make it easy to see what I've got and what I haven't got. Hi everybody. Um, hmm. I haven't been on in a while. I thought I'd, I'm going to have to basically just cut this vlog where it is because I can't remember what I've recorded. I haven't even started editing it. So that, that's like why I don't really know what's going on. Lockdown started easing in the UK. Beauty therapists were allowed to go back to work eventually. So I went back to work. Things changed at home. I started up in my hours a bit more at work. So I kind of, I can do stuff on the night time. But I just couldn't be bothered if I'm honest and I started losing a bit of motivation and yeah, I just I just hadn't been putting the effort in that I should have done. So I've let myself go through a couple of weeks of just being miserable, not doing anything really special, you know, with the Chezzy shop. And yeah, I just let it go down a bit. But I'm starting to feel like I'm coming back a little bit. I've started making things again. I am struggling a bit with like trying to, to do things because on a night time, by the time I've got up in the morning with the kids, I've done whatever I've done in the daytime, whether it's work and stuff like that. Then on the night time with the kids, when it comes to like the evening time where I can't actually sit down properly and do like me resin or me polymer clay or me scrunchies or, you know, anything like that. I kind of, I'm really tired and I lose a lot of motivation. It's, it's a bit of a struggle, but I'm just going to keep pushing through it. I'm not going to whinge about it. Like, I'm just going to try and get on with it. I'm kind of going to cut this vlog a bit short and I'm going to start again, right? like we're going to sort of get and have a different colour here <laughs> you would have seen that if you're someone that watches my channel things have just been a bit all over the place but i'm going to end the video here and i'm going to start a fresh vlog and hopefully not just stop halfway through but yeah thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video <laughs>